Hello, welcome to our Ask the Experts series of videos. Today, we're going to look at something that's been talked a lot about lately. No, not inflation, but stagflation. So what is stagflation and why is it such a problem? In economic terms, stagflation is the phenomenon when inflation is running high but economic growth is either very slow or it's negative. Unemployment also tends to be high during periods of stagflation. Now, normally when inflation is high, it is because there is too much demand in the economy. In other words, economic growth is too strong. When firms are unable to keep up with demand, they raise prices. The problem becomes more acute when workers start demanding higher wages because they can no longer afford the same things as they used to before inflation started rising so rapidly. If there is already a tight labor market in the economy so employers are finding it difficult to hire enough people, they will raise the salary levels they are offering not just to recruit new workers but to also retain their existing employees. This could lead to a wage price spiral, raising the prospect of a vicious circle of inflation. Policymakers can dampen demand by either raising taxes or by raising interest rates. This would then slow down the economy, bringing inflation down with it. What complicates things, however, is that the reason inflation is so high at the moment isn't so much because of excess demand but mainly due to external forces that are exerting upwards pressure on prices across the board in the major economies. This is sort of what's happening in the United States right now. Initially, the price pressures stemmed mostly from the global supply chain issues. Now though, we also have big jumps in energy and broader commodity prices, which are amplifying the surge in input costs for businesses. This is why investors are becoming more and more worried that we could be entering a new era of stagflation. The US Federal Reserve has just started to raise interest rates and will likely to do so again at every meeting this year. But there is a fear that not all price pressures will subside from higher interest rates because of these external price shocks. In such a situation, the Fed might need to raise interest rates very aggressively in order to get inflation down to an acceptable level, which is about 2%. And this could end up choking off growth so much that it tips the economy into recession. In Europe, where growth is weaker than in America, but inflation is almost as high, policymakers have a real dilemma. The European Central Bank can be patient to see whether inflation will decline on its own accord once the price shocks subside or it could risk triggering a recession by hiking interest rates. It has for the moment decided to wait out this inflation storm. However, if by the summer inflation hasn't started to fall, both the ECB and the Fed may have no choice but to prioritize getting inflation under control over supporting economic growth. I hope this video helped you to understand a bit more about stagflation and why it's so undesirable. If you enjoyed watching it, please click on the like button. And if you have any other questions you would like us to answer, you can send us an email at asktheexpert at xm.com.